Hey guys, uh, we have a little puzzle that we would like to get your opinions on. And if you could uh, leave your opinions in the comment section of this video, we would greatly appreciate it. So this is the flux graph that we use to show what's going on with Tabby Star. And we usually fix it up a little for easier interpretation, but we are uh, going to keep it in this form to get your opinions on something. So this is a, uh, a graph that's a couple of days old and it's the, uh, the flux graph of Tabby Star, which was posted on Monday, July 24th. And it has the shape we have uh, become familiar with. But today something confusing happened and we want to get your opinions on it. This is the uh, flux graph of Tabby Star for today, July 27th. And I'm going to toggle back and forth between these two versions of flux graphs so you can see the difference. And we want to get your opinions. So starting around day 50 to the more recent data, all the data points from all multiple telescopes at both the Spain and Hawaii sites were raised almost all the way to the nominal static flux line, as you can see. Notice the older data on the two dips to the left of the graph were basically unchanged. And this was the explanation given for the adjustments made to the graph. So this is the explanation given. We have been working on the quality of the pipeline. Here is another plot to show slight changes made to the light curve, in particular after day approximately 50. This is because we now include a new adjustment to the data, or detrending, to correct for unwanted systemic trends that were introduced when we adjusted the telescope pointing at that time. The blue OGG detrended points here are the ones that have been corrected, and this is what is used in the light curve above. So this is confusing to us since both sites had two 40 centimeter telescopes taking data that was incorporated in these graphs. And how come both the red and the blue data points were shifted up by similar amounts? And did every telescope have pointing issues, including those at opposite sides of the globe? This is really confusing, guys. So a problem arises from this adjustment. We were tracking the long-term dimming of Tabby Star, and this detrending erases much of that. And in another month, we were expecting another 0.4% drop in the long-term trending. So is there going to be another detrending of those more recent data points again? This is um, somewhat disturbing and confusing. It doesn't seem to make sense or uh, not uh, technical sense. And we were expecting for the lowering of the static nominal flux line, but instead we got this. So guys, your opinions and comments, please. Also, if any of you have access to reliable photometric data on Tabby Star, even if it's in raw form, we would greatly appreciate any information in the comments section so that we can create our own graphs. Well, thanks, guys, and take care.